Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I finally got in my second Ulta order from my brother and I know I said I wasn't going to include it in the haul, but I did get a bunch of brushes and so I wanted to do like a haul slash first impressions in one video since it's not a lot of makeup, but just putting these brushes to the test. So that's why we are bare faced. So let's start off with the brushes. This first brush, oh, got two mascaras. Essence, I'm finally gonna try these suckers out. I got the False Lash Effect and the Sculpted Volume. I also got this free Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It's waterproof and it's in Silky Nude. It came just as a bonus in my order. So first brush we're gonna be using, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this one today. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. It's my first e.l.f. brush. I love these types of brushes. This shape is wonderful. I also got this e.l.f. eye blender brush. So what it looks like, we'll try and use this one today. Feels nice. I don't know why I'm putting it on my cheekbones. Here we have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Eye Brush Set. I got it on sale or it was like pretty cheap to begin with, I forget. Let's unpack, shall we, the JH41. This kind of looks like a, it's a shader brush, but it also looks like a concealer brush. You can see that. Let me show you that blending brush. This kind of reminds me of the MAC 224, just a bit like bigger fluffier i think i only have two morphe brushes like for the eyes i have a whole bunch for my face then this one is the jh39 just a tiny pencil brush this is the jh43 and it's just kind of like this flat straight across kind of shader brush you could use it to like define the lash line and then this white haired i mean this is just like a basic blending brush at this point this is what a lot of people have you have either this or you know this like black hair brown hair version <laughs> this is the jh32 and then a smaller option to that because you know size matters jh33 <laughs> this brush it's basically the smaller version of this see i don't have a brush like this i mean the mac 221 is it's bigger and it's white hair but this kind of like small tapered blending brush for more like detailed stuff in the crease what have you what did i say what that was gh40 and lastly, Jaclyn Hill JH42, very small detailed shader brush. This is like perfect for pencils. If I was in school, I'd totally rock this for my like tools bag. Moving on to this next set here from BH Cosmetics. Look at the holographic on this baby. This is a good makeup bag because it's sturdy. So if you put like powder products or even brushes, they won't like get all like that, you know? This brush is the number two. Pretty sure it's the rose quartz set just based on the little ferrule here. Got a face brush. Probably could use this for powder. Ooh, it feels nice. Kind of similar to Real Technique brushes. This is the number three. This will probably be good for like bronzer or maybe even blush if I'm, you know, wanting to go heavy. This is like a contour brush. I don't know if I want to keep this because I don't like, you know, this thing. I don't like that type of brush. But this is the number four. We'll try it to see if we like it for cream contour. But if I don't like it, I'll get rid of it. Oh, this is one of those brushes. It's so like flimsy kind of does that little bend when you whip it back and forth but this will definitely be good for bronzer this is the number 12 just a typical angled brush number seven kind of like a stiffer dome blender brush i think this will be good for cream eyeshadow blending it in the crease this next one is the number nine kind of like a thicker shader brush and this is good for cream eyeshadow across the lid that's these brushes again that's what i use it for then we have the blender brush 
just one of these. Did I say what that was? That was the number five. This is the number six. It's just a thinner version. This shape is very similar to the Mac 221 that I was speaking about, but I like to use this for more detailed work in the outer corner. Another flat straight brush detail work for lash line great did i see what that was gosh i'm forgetting this flat one was number 11 this next one is number eight more crease brushes because you can't get enough and then another pencil brush in the number 10. i like pencil brushes but i find that you have to get the right one because sometimes when you buy a brush like this it's really stiff and pokey that using it like close to the lash line it just gets really irritating last few things that i got a bunch of lashes these are the kiss triple push-up collection in teddy i don't think i'm gonna use this today this is genius the first time um i've seen this so this is the duo lash adhesive i use duo glue and um, I have the clear and the dark version. This is like, it's two in one. This is amazing. Clear or dark, I just pull out this thing and I can, I can choose either or, okay? 113s, guys. I have like three of the double up of these lashes and I don't like the double ups. I like the wispies, that's it. And then I, these are the ones I'm so excited about. I have two of them because they looked amazing. And these are the Wispies in 700. Look, I'm gonna put these on today. This is ones going on my eyes. And then I think this was the gift with purchase. So I got a bag, another holographic one that says weekend vibes. It's Wednesday. I guess and then this stellar lash this this will be what I'm gonna be trying out from BH cosmetics first time I'm trying BH cosmetics and technically it's not makeup but this one is so let's get putting on some makeup are any of these good for foundation this one we're gonna use for foundation even though I said I was gonna use it for bronzer feels like it'll be okay number three from bh cosmetics okay silk canvas all over the face foundation nars radiant longwear foundation in sahel you know the good thing about brushes like these and foundation is that they don't apply as full when the brushes aren't um as dense like i don't know if you can tell you can still see my little sunspots and it's just personal preference now i don't mind my sunspots peeking through and even if i have a blemish or two it's not that big a deal i'm old i have other things to worry about okay this brush was good i would use it for foundation again concealer do we have a concealer brush i don't think so but we can turn one into a concealer brush i think i would prefer this one as a concealer brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number eight, Too Faced, born this way. By the way, this is in the shade Almond. It's a smaller brush than I normally use, but I'm pretty sure it'll get the job done. I would definitely use a bigger brush um, my everyday, but it, I mean, you guys can see it's getting the job done. I'm gonna use the Stiffer Cream, which is my Mocha one from Fenty Beauty because if it can move and buff the product well then i know for sure it'll work on the lancome one this is the number four brush again this flat longer shaped brush mocha mochalicious oh that worked out it seems to be working really well and there we have it did well i mean wasn't amazing no it's definitely not as bad as those thinner ones oh i hate those things i like that this is um it's got more volume to it but also it's not as stiff so the movement on it feels so much more comfortable i would much rather use this than those more blunt and densely packed shorter um brushes like these this is the rimmel stay matte powder right yes and this is in transparent 
gonna use, I wanna use this for bronzer. So let's use the number two for powder. Oh, I love the way this feels. It's a good powder brush. I mean, I'm so simple-minded when it comes to my powder that if it feels soft going on, like the brush, then I'm good. So this brush is a yes. Let's just quickly do my eyebrows. Let's do Morphe Latte. Okay, brows are on. Let's get to some eyeshadows. What would be like a safe color pop? Let's try this BH number five on this side and then the Morphe 30 on the other one. Ooh, that was a lot of kick up. I don't think I have any synthetic um, blender brushes like this. You can feel it like blending well, but it also, once you lift, it kind of immediately bounces back to like original shape. Now for Jacqueline 30. Hmm, this brush, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is synthetic, but sometimes brushes like these, they still, they kind of in, for whatever reason, they still kind of mimic natural hair brushes. This definitely feels synthetic to me. It's kind of got that same like pushback, trying to go back to form. They're both good, but I still prefer my MAC 224. Let's do the Essence one, the Eye Blender. This is the BH number seven. Let's do that, starting off with the Essence. This one doesn't feel as synthetic. I like this brush. This one, it just, it doesn't seem as fluffy and it's shorter, so it will have more like stiffness. The um, Essence one picked up more product. This is probably better for detail work. This is definitely a smaller brush than I normally use, so I'm not going to bad talk it. I think smudging this, using this to smudge on the lower lash line would probably be a good, yeah, I think that might be a good use for this brush. So let's just use this Essence brush. <laughs> I'm not a big pencil brush user, but for comparison sakes, BH10, and GH39 BH on this eye. Done. The Jaclyn Hill one is slightly smaller. So um, if you're into like detail detail, you know the main difference is BH as is tapered, kind of goes to a point and the Jaclyn one is more domed. You know what, I didn't even put my eye, like my lid shade. Let's use the shader brushes after. Mm -hmm. A pencil brush is a pencil brush. Let's do shader brushes. So for shader, we're gonna use BH9, that thicker brush. And then for Jacqueline, we're gonna use the 41. I bet this will be really good for cream products. It's doing a great job for the shimmer, but I know me, and this brush is gonna be a hit with that. This is a good shader brush. I like the shape because it's got more of that taper to the top. A lot of my shader brushes are more rounded, whereas this kind of comes uh, to a point a bit more. This will probably also be good for cut in the crease. Both did a good job. I like them the same. Let's do these short straight across crush straight across brushes. So BH first in the number 11. Oh you can hear it. It's doing a good job though. I like that it kind of diffuses. Jacqueline brush. Did I say what it was? 43. This is not making as much noise. This is definitely more precise. I feel like this looks more diffused. What do you guys think? This looks more diffused than this one. Oh, let's use this detailed one for Morphe. Uh, 42. See if this brush will work for the inner corner. What do you know? It does. 
I'm really excited about these lashes. So again, Wispies 700, where's my glue? Let's just try it on without cutting it first. I love that the band is thin because no one likes a thick band. Ooh, I like that. It almost gives me um, 113 feels, but 113 I feel it's more, it's more PC. This is more like a, a wispy look, if that makes sense. I think I'm in love with these. Oh, why is the lighting so dark now? Guys, I think I'm obsessed. It's so like elegant. Is that the word? It's, you know how there's like, a, it's like sexy lashes. Like, you know what I'm talking about. And there's just like light, very cute not overdone this is just it's like it's like a pretty chic like i just feel like pretty you know what i mean bh stella lash oh stellar lash oh god dang it these lashes i need more this is just a mascara this is not a mascara that i would use on its own like with my natural lashes use this mac shade stir bronzer that's that's good i like that it's not so precise it's kind of blown out like a blown out eyeshadow there are some brushes that are like this where it kind of like blows out the bronzer but some of them that i have um, they're smaller this is oh, so pretty This is a favorite. I like that. We're gonna end on this. Let's use some Clinique Ginger Pop. Oh, that's good. Oh, did you see that? That's good. That means I can buy more blush. I love that. Look, these kinds of brushes, guys, these are just, they're so good with blush. And this is so cheap. Probably need three more of them such a good brush it feels so soft all right and i think that's gonna be it for today okay let's pick favorites let's do that blush favorite <laughs> this brush the blush brush love love this bronzer brush well it's not a bronzer brush that's what i use it for love love that i really liked the brush that i used for i think it was powder right that's the one that i said this felt really good I'm not picky with brushes again. I just like the way it feels. I really liked this Essence brush, the eye blender. So nice, I like that. These lashes hit. They just, they hit different, you know? I'm checking myself out in the mirror and I say yes, Jesus. This other brush, this one here, the flat one from Morphe, the 41. Kind of this shader brush, I like this. Um, and the reason why it's kind of like on the top or worth mentioning is because I normally hate the way these brown bristles feel, but this is so smooth and soft. That is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just, it's rare that I do a lot of brushes at once. So I thought, you know what, let's just do the first impressions with the haul and do just like a fun video. So I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions about the products, um, whether that be what I hauled or any products that I use on my face, please leave them down below because I don't plan on doing Instagram posts. Guys, I'm sorry, it just got really dark. It's about to rain. This is what I'm talking about with natural lighting. Until the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.